All right. This is Hebrews chapter 11, verse 6. It says, But without faith it is impossible to please him. For he that cometh to Yahweh must believe that he is, and that he is a reward of them that diligently seek him. All right. Barakatha Yahweh, Barakatha Yahweh Shah, Barakatha Yahweh, Barakatha Yahweh Shah. Call all Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shah, by Shem Rakakodash. Give double honors to my elders and apostles of Great Millstone that taught me this truth. Alright, and today's lesson, you know, is about having faith in the Lord, man. Alright, being in this truth, man, you got to have faith, man. Alright, you can um do the works, you know, as the scripture says, um, faith without works is dead. But you got to make sure you have that faith, man, too. All right, because a lot of guys ain't got that um, true faith, man, you know, and that's why a lot of guys fall out the truth, you know, and that's why a lot of guys, you know, um, transgress the law, you know. But the scripture I brung out, I'm going to bring it back. It was on Hebrews chapter 11, verse 6. It says, but without faith, it is impossible to please him. For he that cometh to Yahweh must believe that he is and that he is a reward of them that dil diligently Seek him, you know, so you got to believe in the Lord, man. All right. Definitely through the times that we're going to come through. All right. You know, all the um, pledges that's going to come, you know, the famine. All right. You, you got to believe in the Lord going to um, save you out of that, man. All right. For those brothers that's um doing the work, you know, to the best of their ability, you know, and, and, and enduring to the end. All right. And enduring. All right, when that time come, you got to have faith in the Lord, man. You know, when you have an eight um, in weeks, you know, things like that, man, you got to have faith in the Lord. All right, you got to have faith that he going to um, feed you. All right, as the scripture says, man, you got to always go back to the scriptures, you know, because the Lord said he going to feed his men. All right. All right, when when they uh, roughly paraphrasing, but um, the scripture says um, they should hunger and weep. All right, but my man gonna eat, man. All right, you gotta have faith in that. All right, you don't know how the Lord gonna feed you. All right, but you gotta know that um what the Lord said, you know, is gonna happen, man. You know, because if you don't have that faith, man, um, um, you're gonna be weak in this thing, man. You know. You're going to be weak, all right? And, and when that time come, if you ain't got the faith, all right, and you ain't ate or um, anything, man, but I'm going to use that as an example, but if you ain't ate, all right, and, and these devils um pushing out the um RFID chip, you know, and telling you you can um, eat, all right, if you just take this chip, all right, if you ain't got that faith, you're going to take, the, you're going to take the chip, man, all right? You're going to take that mark of the beast. You know? You're going to give up um, a brother for death and all that, man. All right? Because you ain't had a faith in the Lord, man. All right? You get that You get that demon. All right? That um, that doubting demon. All right? Doubting the truth. All right? You know? And that's how a lot of guys fall out, man. All right? And if you... um. And if you see it, you know, the guys that do fill out, they become scoffers, all right? They scoff at the truth, all right? They go back into the world, you know, and and, and they come against the truth, man, you know? You, and you know why? Because they ain't had a faith in the beginning, all right? They ain't really truly believe in this thing, man, all right? They start um, going off, all right? Not um, following the law, statutes, commandments no more. All right, that's because they ain't truly believe, you know. All right, and, and, and the same with the people of the world, man. All right, they don't believe, you know. Oh, where's uh, where is your Lord? All right, things like that, man. All right, because they ain't got the faith, man. I'm gonna bring this up. This is John chapter twenty, verse twenty nine. It says, and this is Yahweh Shah speaking, man. All right. It, it, it says, Yahweh Shah said unto him, Thomas, because thou hast seen me, thou hast believed. 
Blessed are they that have not seen and yet have believed. All right. This is how was shot speaking, man. He said, blessed are they that have not seen. All right. And believe. All right. That's why I take, um, man, that's why it's a blessing to have this truth, man. You know, to believe in this thing. All right. Waking up knowing that you are um, Israelite. All right. Believing in Yahweh, all right. Believing in Yahweh Shah, you know. That's a blessed, blessed thing, man. All right, to believe in that and haven't seen it, man. All right. And then it says, um, I'm gonna go back up. It says because that has seen me, that has believed. All right, because if everybody, um, and nowadays if everybody seen the Lord, everybody believe, man. All right, with no problem. You know, if everybody seen the Lord's works, all right, and the Lord came back, everybody believed, you know, but that's why he said, blessed um, them that have, um, have not seen and believed, man, all right, down here putting in the work, keeping the law, statutes, commandments to the best of their ability, all right, and having faith in the Lord, you know, and I'm going to um, grab something else to back that up. You know, because it's easy to say, um, you believe in, um, believe in the Lord, but, um, it's another thing, um, to have faith, man, and really put your faith into it, man. All right. We bring this out. This is Psalms chapter one. Yeah. Chapter 110. Verse three. It says, thy people shall be willing in the day of thy power. All right? And you know why? Because they're going to see the Lord's work, man. All right? They're going to see um see that power, man. All right? That the Lord going to give his men. You know? And the people going to be willing in that day. All right? Because they're going to know it's, um, it's a real, um it's a true power out there, man. All right? And they're going to see that the brothers that was enduring to the end, you know, and kept that faith, you know, and kept on enduring, man. Um, they're gonna see that the Lord was dealing with them, man. All right, and the Lord gonna give His um hundred forty-four thousand men that spiritual power, you know. And people gonna be willing in that day, all right, to to worship the Lord. They're gonna be unwilling, all right, to um, follow law, statutes, commandments, man. But then again, yeah, hey, it might be too, it's going to be too late, man. All right. You know? And I ain't want to make this too long, but I'm going to bring out something else. All right. Psalms 118. Verse 8, it says, it is better to trust in the Lord than to put confidence in men. All right. Yeah, I'm going to read it back. It says, it is better to trust in the Lord than put confidence in men, man. All right. So you got to trust in the Lord. You know, you know, uh, hey, a lot of people, um, a lot of guys that fill out the truth. All right. They came in or the so-called. They never was in the truth, but they came in the truth, you know, um, because of men, all right? They ain't really had that um, true faith in the Lord, all right? They, they just seen something, all right, and thought they could just be part of, like, okay, I see, um, I see structure, all right? They see um, real men standing up, all right, and... and they don't really put their um, true faith in the Lord, all right? They going off what men was doing, all right? But the whole time, them men was out there for the Lord, you know? Working out their own salvation, all right, together, all right? But they, they, they see something like, oh, okay, brothers, they looking out for each other, all right? They, um, um, um. They respecting one another, man. All right. 
and they think it was just some damn boys club, all right? But when they came down, when they when they really came down to it, all right, they ain't really had that faith, all right? Things got started getting boring to them, all right? They start having that doubt, maybe this, maybe that. All right, that's because they didn't really believe, man. All right, and eventually they just fell out the truth. All right? So, hey, man, you got to have that faith. All right? You got to have that faith in the Lord. All right? You got to have that in the back of your mind, man. You know? You got to um, know that the Lord is on um, with you. And he's going to be with you in these last days. All right? If you um, continue to endure to the end. You know? Otherwise, you're going to go off, you know, and get spilled out the truth, you know? All right, you're going to start fucking up, um, doing whatever it is, man. Committing adultery, all right? Being a nigga, all right? And slowly by surely, all right, you're just going to get spilled out, all right? Because you ain't had that faith and the fear of the Lord, man, all right? Fearing the Lord, all right? That's having faith, all right? Knowing, okay, if I do this, I'm going to get fucked up, man, from the Lord, all right? Having that fear, man, all right? That's faith, all right? That's how you keep going in this truth, you know? Hey, but without that, man, hey, you know, you don't truly believe, all right? If you ain't got the faith, you don't truly you don't truly believe in this thing, man. You know? And I ain't wanna make this too long, so hey, I'm gonna end it off with that. Alright, hopefully this was edifying to a brother out there or a sister, you know. Alright, but with that I'm gonna give all praises to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shah. Double honors to my elders and apostles of Great Millstone that taught me this truth. Alright, Shalom.